Hey, good morning, guys. Hey, it's a rainy, messy, dreary day today. So I'm in the garage hanging out. Got a mess in here, too. I've been working on the van, getting it ready for the camping season, car show season. But I ordered something that I think I hope will enjoy this year, and I wanted to show it to you. I don't normally do reviews. I don't have sponsors. Uh, nobody sent me anything to review. So this will be an honest review, something I paid for myself. And I've not seen many reviews on this, so I'm going to tell you. I ordered my first electric bike, and I think we'll really enjoy this at the car shows and stuff. So I'm going to unbox this thing and get it out and check it out. But I already see there's a problem with the packaging right here. I was noticing that got a little issue here. Bonafide. Yeah, because I'm going to be bonafide riding this bike, if you know what I mean. So, anyhow, let's get it out of the box, check it out, see how much trouble it is put together. And then, because it's raining today, I'll probably wait, and uh, it's coming week, I'm going to get it out and ride a little bit, and we'll do a more in-depth review on it then. So let's get it out. So this box, got some nice handles right here, or hand hold areas here. So, no one just comes apart. Uh, it's probably, oh, I don't know, say maybe 80 pounds. Say about 80 pounds. I'm not sure. Not sure what the bike weighs. But this was already like that. I didn't undo these. I don't know why it was loose. But you see, I think they're pretty much assembled. You can see here the way it looks in the box. So yeah, I'm going to cut some of these zip ties. Go from there. This company makes as of now, I think, they make two styles. This is an Elias, and you see the way this bar comes up. It's more of a step-through style bike. And what I ordered is a Bona, which has this here. I just, I like to look at this one a little better. Uh, to me, it looked a little more sturdy, but I've seen some that have got this one and they don't say any issues about that. Looking weak or feeling weak. So let's get it out. I don't want to cut the sides of this box which we have to see something back. So the fender. That's front or rear. Got some more ties down there. Let's see what that one. I think. Let's cut some more ties. I went back and forth on the color I was going to get, and I think I'm going to like this. It's a little bit different. I like the looks of that. To me, it's got a little bit of a, kind of an old school. Uh, motorcycle look to it I don't know it's just in a way it does I don't know if it's color scheme or I don't know the fat black tire and uh, spokes yeah I like the looks of it and I think I 
think this is just a temporary to hold it up till you put the front tire on. I like that. It'll stand on its own right there. I don't normally look at instructions, but let's open this up. Let's see what's in here. Are there some foot pegs or pedals? Maybe a tool kit? It's like a reflector, maybe goes behind the back seat probably. I'm not sure. Battery. All right. Yeah, I like the way everything's packaged. Definitely not a high dollar set of tools, but I mean, you're not paying for the tools, you're paying for the bike, pretty much. Okay. I was bragging about that temporary setup here. Being like that. Yeah. It really sets good now. Oh man, adjustable shocks, what it's like here. Alright, get this is flips up. Nice. Feels really well built. It's got a push button. There. To lock that in place. The handlebars. You see some keys. Oh man. Really easy. Real easy. Cut these. Try not to cut them. I got my glasses on. I don't screw nothing up. Put my keys. Come up here. Okay. Let me undo this tire and get some zip ties on it. So, get in here with me. Oh man, that goes my phone. This tire, this is supposed to come off. And this, here, thread this out, looks like. Take this out. Yeah, I like that stand, it's nice. Keep it up. Some more springs. Kick sound there, it's got a nice wide base to it. Yeah, 
to the fan drum. There's going to be a light move right here, too, I think. It goes along with the fender, I believe. Use another hand if I almost drop by here. Might still be doing this. Time to get here. We got a little loose. Let's put these on. Probably this. I have the fender on there, the little headlight. This plug is in here. Let's do that. I think you have a right and a left. Let's Yeah. Right handed threads over here. Must be left handed threads over there. Okay. Over here. I think this should spin backwards. Uh -oh, I'm spinning it. I'm so used to spinning it the other way.
Okay. What do y'all think? This is a, I think it's 750 watt, I'll double check, 750 watt. I think it's a 15 amp hour battery. I'll tell you, since, like say, since I'm not obligated to uh, high peak, so I bought this, I was going back and forth between this and the bike called a Fukair. I was going back and forth between them. Uh, but I was needing to buy some more stuff, the Fukair or Fukari, whatever, whatever it is. It had a larger battery. It was a still a 750 watt, the one I was looking at, and it was a 20 amp hour, and this is 15 amp hour. Uh, and I liked a little bit more of the design of that Fukair. So if you're going back and forth between bikes, check that one out. And then it had a, uh, it, it was about maybe $400 more than this bike, but there was all from free shipping. So it made it only about $250, $275 more than this bike. So. I went with this one because, like I said, I was buying some more stuff and I kind of trying to stay in my budget. So, that helps. Okay, guys. There it is, put together. Really easy to put together. There wasn't much to it. Well, you saw it. I hope you saw it. I like the way this thing's built. You see right there is the, the motor, 750 watt, 48 volt. I mean, it's a good-looking bike. This also, I don't know if I mentioned it, this bike will fold up. We'll do that here maybe in a minute. And I've checked about these. Open, lock. Is that suggestible? Or... Yeah, good-looking bike. I hope you enjoy it. One thing... I will say, I'll get on it here in a minute, but the, I think, now they go down a little bit further, the handlebars seem a little bit high. I'm hoping that my little sweetheart is comfortable on this. You know, they're just a, this is a 20 inch tire and it's low here. She's not very tall, but the handlebars just seem a little high. So let's cut this thing on. I'm not sure how to operate this. I think. Turn it on. I just turn it on. I think you just hit M. There we go. Look there. Odometer, brand new, all zeros. Seven speeds as far as pedaling. I wish the weather was good, but this is all you're going to get today. Of this. But we're going to get it out soon. So, hey, uh, I may close this video out here. Uh, this little shade's got a nice, bright brake light. I like that. And uh, like I say, I really like the looks of the bike. And uh, we'll close this video out here, and this will be the assembly video for those of you that want to see that. Like I say, it wasn't much too putting it together. It was really easy. Didn't take long. And then uh, next week, it's nice and dry, hopefully sunny. 
I'll get it out and we'll see how long this battery lasts, uh, see how comfortable it is riding it, and uh, just enjoy it. So then I'll give you an update video. So thanks for watching, guys.